They were about to be rewarded by a quite magnificent display of batting. It was the start of the second day, and Greenwich and Haynes, who had not built a serious partnership in the whole series, were about to produce something special. Fantastic shot. Well, that is silly bowling. I mean, after the bounce at the Greenwich, you can bet your bottom dollar. Look at Haynes, he's waiting for it. He's on the back foot before he bowls, Desmond Haynes. And I've mentioned before, one of the great hookers in world cricket. Into the gap on the offside, and he's not bothering to run for that because he knows it's come off the bat, right off the meat of the bat and into the gap on the offside. Lovely shot. That's a small string in length this time. Beautiful stroke through the offside by Desmond Haynes. That's through the gap. Hussain is obviously quicker than Capel. Overtook him on the way down to the boundary. And so a little bit of music because of the boundary. And that brings up 7,000 runs for Gordon Greenwich. 7,000 runs. He's the 12th man in the history of Test cricket to reach that milestone. And what's more, he's only the fourth West Indian. He's been a great player, this man. That's through the gap as well. Don't bother running for that. Magnificent shot there by Haynes. He really is getting stuck into anything just outside off stump. That wasn't that short. He hit it on the up eventually. And Desmond Haynes, Haynes is fifth four of the innings. Beautiful shot through the offside. Again, not bothering to run. He knew he, knew he had struck it nicely. Well, that's an authoritative shot by Greenwich. He hammered it. A cue for the music. He rarely put back the ball. It's in the air, but it's gone. A long way. Out of the ground. Six for Haynes in commanding form. Well, it went many a mile. You couldn't say the middle that. It flew off the top of the bat, or well, top of the blade. It went much higher than he thought. But Daxton Small down there was never in any doubt at all. It was going high, high up in the trees and away. Oh, that's down the ground. He's really hit that off the meat of the bat, and it's gone straight over the top for six. Well, Greenwich opening his shoulders there and hit that one straight down the ground. Well, that's a tremendous shot. Um, David Capel was bowling a tremendous over there, kept the ball on the, on the length, but he's got this one a bit fuller, and Greenwich has just hit straight through the line of it from outside off stump, caught it right in the middle of the bat, and... Uh, I'm afraid the bowler knows when someone hits one like that where it's going, and that's gone straight over the boundary for six. Tremendous shot. Capel to Haynes. Straight through Madon for four. So Haynes moves on to 44. He's looking in good form. Yes, he is. Um, anything that's slightly overpitched, uh, the, these, both these West Indian batsmen are capitalising on. I mean, that ball's foolish. It's just outside off stump, a typical Desmond Haynes shot. He's worked it through the onside. There's always going to be four. Lovely on drive by Haynes. He really is playing beautifully. That's his 7 4. And he now moves on to 49.
just fractionally short. And Greenwich dispatches it down through mid-wicket. That's a local character here, known as Mayfield. and Desmond Haynes is 50, simultaneous. Greenwich joins Haynes on a half century in his 100th test match. And then you drop it short. And wide of the off stump. Tremendous shot. Yeah, give it a shine, mate. If you're any good, you could have the next over at the pavilion then. That's a huge hit. That is a ginormous hit. Straight back overhead. Bring it to the second sense of Keiko. We can't afford to go up too much this man, Greenwich, on this sort of a pitch. He just Lent into that one. Complete follow through, full follow through. Beautiful shot. And just for a bit of variety, a square cut. Well, he started to pick things up again. He's going for it, this could be close, will there be a run out? No, he's gone through for 100. He's got a magnificent 100. Gordon Greenwich has made 100 in his 100th test match. And they're running on the ground from all directions. That bloke's got his umbrella with him. Well, she's enjoying it too, I tell you. She's in the process of giving it some real movement up there. Let's have another look at this very special moment in the career of Gordon Greenwich. A quick single in his 100th test match. And he really did enjoy that. Let's cut into the gap for four. Magnificent shot. So another four to Greenwich. And uh, that uh, guy down there just giving the ball a bit of a shine. Giving England a little bit of help. So that's gone past the record now between these two countries for the first wicket. The first wicket record was 206. They've taken it to 210. Desmond Haynes now on 99. He scored 13 test match centuries. Will this be his 14th? Or will he be trapped? He's played it down to third man. He's got it. Two in a row. Well played, Desmond Haynes. There he is again. I told you he was a good dancer, but he's not a good runner. However, he's made his way out to the centre. And he's giving Desmond Haynes a shake of the hand. Hundreds back to back, one in Barbados in the second innings, and this is how he brought up the one here in Antigua. So both West Indian openers in this, their first innings of the last test match, the decider, have scored 100.
Oh, and that's a short delivery, pulled away, and over the fence it goes, a magnificent pull shot. A magnificent pull shot for six. Just carried the fence down there, but what timing from Greenwich. Have another look at this. Beautiful shot, it's just medium pace, short of a length. Tremendous blow. Magnificent drive by Haynes. We saw a number of those yesterday, and that's another one for four. Oh, he smashed that one straight down the ground. Flat, one bounce into the fence. And that really was a brute force shot. It was played from around about off stump, perhaps even just outside. Greenwich cutting loose. Well, there's nothing to say about that. That wasn't a bad ball. That's just a batsman feeling. He wants to really get after the bowler. Good length ball, outside off stump, quite a few inches outside. just past the stumps and that brings up the 296 and it hasn't gone unnoticed by some of the crowd here that equals the partnership they put together on this ground against India so one more and they'll be ahead of it quick single and that's 297, so they've improved on their 296. quite got there the throw has come in all the way from Gladstone Small and he's got him well they've broken the partnership Desmond Haynes is hanging his head Greenwich doesn't want to go well Greenwich is out this partnership has been broken on 298 going for the 299th run this is how it happened well Everybody thought the throw would come in from Gladstone Small back to the wicketkeeper. He throws in one movement, Greenwich is still halfway down the pitch, and it is tight. Yes, what a wonderful decision. What a wonderful decision by the umpire. Yes, there's no doubt that he was labouring a little bit. He wasn't really flat out, so the partnership has been broken. 298 for one. Well, he's hit that. There's no one down there. Into the fence it goes, just in front of square. Money for old jam, that is, or old rope, whichever you choose. Short ball, and Desmond Haynes has been whacking into the boundary for a fair while during this match. That's his meat for Desmond Haynes. He's gone. Desmond Haynes, caught behind by Russell, has a look at the pitch as he walks off. Gladstone Small has a wicket. Very good delivery, this one. And the West Indies are 384 for six. And what a fine innings by Desmond Haynes, ended by a very good ball. Lifted, lefted, gloved it, and into the gloves of Jack Russell. Superb innings by Desmond Haynes, out for 167.